Tony Hadley, welcome to Wigan. Thank you very much, yeah. What have you made of it so far? It's a bit boggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's a, to the festival organiser, this was like a quagmire yesterday, by all accounts. So there's loads of straw everywhere to soak up. But no, cool, it's going to be great. It's, it's almost like a sort of circus event. It's got the feeling of, a, you know, it's a kind of big top tent and everything else. So it's got, you know, it's got that kind of typical festival vibe and um, hopefully they'll like us and uh, it will all be wonderful. <laughs> the uh, atmosphere here is quite remarkable. Yeah, I mean, everyone seems in... There, there's a, there's a, everyone seems in, like, real good spirits and stuff and there's a good vibe and everything. And that's all you want at a festival. You want, you know, you want people to come out and enjoy it and stuff and listening to different types of music and, uh, you know... And just getting off on it, and uh, I, I think hopefully, and the sun's shining. That's uh, we're Makes lucky because uh, well, earlier on it was. I'm not being funny. It was like, oh no, it's going to storm. It's going to be a thunder, you know. But uh, it's actually looking really good. Does that affect your choice on set list at all? The weather, the weather, and the mood of the and the atmosphere. No, not at all. Not? <laughs> no, no, we do Sorry. what we do. Come rain or shine or whatever, you know. Um, no, you can't. I mean, it, it's, it's really weird with festivals because I've been in situations where, you know, it absolutely tips down and you're thinking no one's going to be out there. But, you know, the Brits are kind of fairly sort of leathery, kind of tough people and, uh, and they just celebrate the fact that it's raining. It's a mosh pit. And uh, so, you, you know, you might have like 10,000 people going absolutely ballistic and it's raining. In fact, in sometimes it, it almost enhances it. But I'm not saying I want it to rain tonight. <laughs> so, no, I've been lucky with the weather. So, yeah, yeah. So, so how do you choose your set list, and how does it vary from sets when you have? Well, it obviously track? depends how long a set list. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, tonight's actually quite uh, quite a long set list for a festival. It's an hour and a half. So, so we're we're throwing in obviously some Spanner songs and stuff that that, that we know that, that people are going to know from Spanner, uh, but then also some new songs from the new album and. And also songs that I love to do. I mean, you know, like Don Henley's Boys of Summer. You know, the sun's shining and it feels good. So, so we're, we're quite lucky. It's quite a mixed up sort of bag of songs. And, uh, but, you know, you pace it, hopefully, in the right way. And you've been quite busy with your own solo material as well? Yeah, I mean, I'm constantly writing, recording, uh, threatening to release a solo album, and, uh, which will be out next year. Uh, I actually want to orchestrate it now. I've decided that's what I want to do. I want to get the new album, orchestrate it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so there, there's, there seems to be quite a bit of interest from record companies at the moment, which is which is good. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm always excited by music. I mean, you know, you hear a lot of artists and they sort of moan about going on the road and stuff like that. But it's if you if you love being on stage and singing and performing, then, then it's something you never give up. So you still enjoy it as much as ever? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, listen, living the dream, right? You know, when you sit, you know, when you're a kid watching Top of the Pops, you go, oh, I want to be David Bowie, I want to be Brian Ferry, Rod Stewart, and everything else. And then all of a sudden, you go, you pinch yourself, and you go, I'm 56, and I'm still doing it, and it's lovely, and it's wonderful, and people are responding and liking the music, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, you must love the fact that people love the music so much, and, and when the Spandau reunion came about, you know how quickly the tickets sold out. Yeah, it was good. I mean, you know, we, we toured, on t- after 20 years, we toured in 2009, 2010, um, after, you know, saying hell freezes over. I mean, it was a big, it, it, you know, I, I, it took a lot of deliberation, a lot of thought, uh, you know, before I could commit to it. But we did it, and I'm glad we did it, because it was great. And, um, and we, re- you know, we re- recovered our friendships. Um, and then we had a sort of four or five year absence. We came out with the film, Star Wars of the Western World, toured again for a with the film and everything else for about a year and a half finished 10 months ago and then I'm, I was literally straight back a week later I was in Dubai with my band Tony Hadley Band and, um, and I haven't stopped since to be <laughs> honest so you know it's about as one of those I think is a special thing that should happen on, on, on occasion so you'll go back to it in a few years maybe well you can never say never yeah. but I mean in the foreseeable future I can't give a time yeah. because you know, Christmas albums coming out, new orchestral albums coming out. I'm already getting booked up for next year, and you know, I've been a solo artist for longer than I was ever in Spanner Valley for. So it's something that we'll do, and we'll get together every few years. Brilliant. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for your very time. much. Thank you. Okay.